Just one more on Jota. Is the danger for him, and there's a fairly healthy compensation package involved here. So, I mean, you know, financially, it sets him up for life. One one transfer um, and, and he's sorted. But you spoke about uh, potentially the likes of him, Neves, going there and then having a couple of great paydays, a couple of great years, uh, and then going into one of the top European leagues again and, and basically just picking up where you left off potentially. But is the danger that you're derailed in the process when you go to somewhere like Saudi? Oh, definitely. Oh, there's there's no doubt of that because people will say, oh, you're only playing in Saudi Arabia because it's like, the question was always asked about here. You know, people say, can they do it down in England? Thankfully, many guys have moved from Scotland and I've played along with a lot of them. Who were saying, ah, they went, they're only doing it in Scotland. One of the prime examples, Henry Larson, oh, he couldn't do it uh, down at Manchester United or whatever. My United love him, he was only there for a short period of time. Brian McClare was the first one to score over 20 goals since George Best. So all these guys went down to England and proved themselves, and there's many, many more. You know, so they used to question the Scottish League going to England, Saudi Arabia, to one of the top European teams, ones that's a chance to win it. I'm not so sure because performance wise, that's always a question mark, even the people that's looking at them. Okay, he's doing really well here, but he's playing in this league against X, Y, and Z. But who, listen, who knows what they're going to do, how many players are going to go? Because let's be honest, none of them are going there for the league. No. You know, they're going there for the money. So yeah. we understand that wholeheartedly. So, how many more players, top quality players, are they going to be able to steal out these leagues? That's my concern. Because obviously, we all love watching the Champions League with mm. the best players in it. And I hope we don't lose all that. Yeah, I mean, they've obviously traditionally. Uh, it's been over 30s going to leagues like like China and, and well over and, the 30s and, and, for things yeah, like that exactly, exactly so maybe as we said right at the start of this chat maybe this is this is the change they're going to be signing players more at their peak uh, to to really try and build a top league yeah they are because they're talking about the stadiums wise they're going to be world class stadiums for all the clubs so they've got the attraction they'll be able to build training facilities as we know because finance is not going to be a problem to them that's my concern because then it will be the, the young, top quality players who are talking about Declan Rice or something, maybe getting two or three hundred grand a week. Mm. All of a sudden, if this would be maybe last year, maybe the Saudis would bring in for somebody like Declan Rice. Instead of offering the hundred million, right, okay, we'll give you two hundred million. Instead of Declan getting three or four hundred thousand pounds a week, we'll give him a million pounds a week. And that's what I'm a wee bit concerned of because money is no object to them. Mm. Let's be perfectly honest with you. And it's very, very, very difficult because you see the way managers are treated, you see the way players are treated when their contracts are up. Mm. You know, all these different things that get used as a piece of meat at times. So you can understand that side of them. And people talk about loyalty. And I'm a big one. And as I say to you, you're always playing for the badge on the front. I keep saying it. It's because players come and go, managers come and go. We understand that, but there's a way to treat people. And I hope it doesn't become a cattle market. That's what you're hoping for, that people can go. If they go there, I'm hoping it's still the senior ones at 33, 34, 35, yeah. and maybe getting that payday. Let us look at the cream of the crop and try and keep them in Europe, the best leagues in Europe, and hopefully we can all still enjoy the Champions League to the standard it is.